What's up guys, Takedown here, and as we are getting closer to Wrestlemania, I wanted to share 10 female wrestlers that I believe are future Hall of Famers. China is one of the first wrestlers, in my opinion, that just proved that it's okay for women wrestlers to be strong. She even had a great alliance with Triple H, even helping him win the championship against The Rock in a ladder match. Unfortunately, she did pass away a few years ago, but I strongly believe that WWE is going to put her in the Hall of Fame, hopefully soon, now that she has passed. I hope they do see what she has accomplished in her career. Kelly Kelly came to the WWE in 2006. She started as a ring announcer, then she became a referee before she became a wrestler. But she's mostly known for ECW, where she would do her weekly dance segments. In 2011, Kelly Kelly won her only championship while with the company, the Divas Championship, and she held it for three months before she retired in December 2012. Alicia Fox is still currently signed with the WWE. She came back in 2006. She's been with the company ever since and hasn't had many roles over the past few years. In 2010, she won the Divas Championship, becoming the first ever African American to win the title in WWE history, which is a great accomplishment on its own. In 2004, Michelle McCool joined the WWE and debuted on SmackDown. She is the first woman to win both the Divas Championship and the Women's Championship and has held both titles twice. In 2011, she faced her former partner Layla in a Loser Leaves the WWE match where she did lose leading up to her retirement. Tori Wilson started her career in WCW before making it to the WWE in 2001. Tori may be known for her bikini contests back in the day, but she has had many great matches over the years and has had many great rivalries along the way. In 2008, Tori Wilson suffered a back injury and was released from her WWE contract shortly after resulting in her retirement. AJ Lee came to the main roster back in 2012 and only stayed till 2015. In those short three years, she became a three-time Divas Champion and held the title for a total of 406 days. Natalia is the first third generation female wrestler in the world. She came to WWE back in 2007 and she made it to the main roster in 2008. In 2010, she won the Divas Championship and in 2017, she won the SmackDown Women's Championship. In 2016, Alexa Bliss was drafted from NXT to SmackDown, where she eventually won the SmackDown Women's Championship and is the first person to do so twice. In April 2017, she was sent down to Raw and later that month won the Raw Women's Championship, being the first person to win both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship. She has since won the Raw Women's Championship again and is currently the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion. She defended the title recently in the first ever Elimination Chamber match full of female wrestlers where she came out on top and won. Paige is the first person born in the 90s to win a championship while in the WWE. She became the NXT Women's Champion and to later on while holding the title went to Raw to win the Divas Championship, being the first person to win both titles and hold them both at the same time. She did go on to win the Divas Championship for a second time and she was also a main part of the Women's Revolution. She was, however, later suspended, but has made a return back in 2017. We hope to see her as champion again soon. Brie and Nikki Bella started in the WWE back in 2008, 
where they would use twin magic to win matches. In 2011, Brie would win her only championship, the Divas Championship. And in 2012, Nikki Bella would win the Divas Championship for the first time. In 2014, Brie was involved with Stephanie McMahon, resulting in a match at SummerSlam. At the pay-per-view, Nikki Bella would attack Brie Bella, resulting in a rivalry. Later, they would team back up, and Nikki Bella would win the Divas Championship for the second time, holding the title for 301 days, being the longest reigning Divas Champion in WWE history. So this was 10 female wrestlers that I believe will be in the WWE Hall of Fame one day, but there is many more that I could not put on this list because I wanted this list to be only 10. So comment down below who you think should be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Is there somebody I missed that is special and to you should be in the Hall of Fame? Let me know in the comments down below. I do have a couple more videos like this to make. I hope you guys do enjoy. And if you do, please leave a thumbs up because it's going to help me more than anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.